Nowadays, most smartphones are covered in glass to make them look nice. But this design choice has a drawback. Even the smallest bump can cause the surface of your phone to shatter. But why are phone screens made of glass and not something harder to crack like plastic? Well, plastic is more resilient than glass when dropped. You can actually buy smartphones with plastic screens for a much lower price. But the screen won't work as well as a glass one. Smartphone touchscreens made of glass are more sensitive to your fingers than plastic ones, so they respond faster. Glass is not just fancier looking than plastic, it's also a more reliable material. Another drawback of using plastic is its softness. This means that pretty much anything can scratch it. If your phone screen was made of plastic, you wouldn't be able to carry it in your bag without it getting scratched by another object. And you can forget about putting your plastic phone in your pocket if you need to carry your keys there. Ooh. The glass used to make smartphone screens is usually scratch-resistant, so you don't have to worry about your keys doing any damage. But how can glass be so resilient to scratches and at the same time so fragile to falling from even a small height? Well, it all comes down to the hardness of the glass. The major drawback here is how brittle it is. Materials that can't bend tend to break easily. Phone companies and their glass suppliers have to strike a careful balance between brittleness and hardness, and this can be tough. A solution to the problem was found in Gorilla Glass, which is used in a lot of devices today. While no one has found the perfect material to use for smartphone screens, this chemically strengthened glass has some great characteristics. It's thin, light, and damage resistant. Gorilla Glass is nearly impossible to scratch, and it can withstand falls from big heights. Phone manufacturers are always looking for new ways to make our gadgets more durable and smarter. And sometimes, when they start thinking about what the smartphones of the future will look like, they end up with some interesting ideas. There's a chance that smartphones might one day completely replace our banks and credit cards. All around the world, people could send their money entirely through mobile apps like Apple Pay or Samsung Pay. Thanks to our smartphones, many stores won't even have ordinary cash registers anymore. Smartphones will probably play a more important role as authenticator systems. Our phones could use things like GPS, biometrics, and user data to confirm payments and other transactions. But nothing compares to a different invention. More and more smartphones are becoming flexible. In the future, you might not carry your phone in the palm of your hand anymore. Instead, a bendy screen could wrap around your wrist like a bracelet. Even curved displays like this will be fully functional. Another gadget for those who like to keep their hands free is also in the works. The phone that looks like a fitness tracker. A gadget like this won't have a screen at all. Instead, it'll project your phone's interface onto your arm. It might even be equipped with special sensors that capture the movements of your fingers. It's already possible to open doors, raise the barrier in a parking lot, and turn on a microwave with your phone. This kind of technology could become more widespread over time. Smart home technology could improve security. For example, if someone gets into your house, you'll receive an alarm even if you're far from home. But in the future, you might be able to do even more things through your smartphone. For example, our devices might be able to give commands to our future robot helpers. Or maybe just zap that burglar in your living room. Ow! Even if your phone has a good battery, it usually only lasts for two days or less. This may change in the future. Developers are always looking for ways to make more powerful batteries. They're also trying to make them smaller and lighter. Phones come in so many colors that it's sometimes hard to choose the one you like. Black, silver, and white are the classic colors, but for some people, these are kind of boring. Bright colors stand out more, but they can give your device a less professional look. But this won't be a problem in the future when your screen might cover all of your phone surface. With this screen, we might have the option of changing our device's color to suit our mood or the situation. We take selfies more and more often, so we need good front-facing cameras in our devices iPhones have big notches on the top of their screens to accommodate these cameras. Samsung devices have punch hole cutouts for them. These design choices take up space on your display. But soon, we'll have underscreen camera technology. You won't even see the camera anymore because it'll be beneath your phone screen. One day, we might even have holographic smartphones. 
These phones will be covered by thousands of fisheye lenses that disperse light in different directions. This feature will allow us to see 3D images on our smartphone screens without glasses or any special equipment. Researchers have already created this technology, but it's still far from perfect. The screen resolution on this experimental phone is just 160 by 104 pixels, which isn't the best. The smartphones of the future may also help us to improve our diets. Our gadgets will allow us to scan our food and count calories. Some manufacturers don't show all the ingredients they put in their food. With this technology, you'll be able to see each and every ingredient right on your screen and make the right decision. Or not. Smartphone displays are great for watching videos and playing games, but not for reading. The e-ink displays that are used in electronic readers are a much better option. They're not only less harmful to your eyes, but also more convenient. You can read ebooks outside, even in direct sunlight. Future smartphones may be able to switch to this reading mode whenever you need it. Smartphones of the future may not even look like phones at all. Our devices may have a completely new shape or form, but still perform the same tasks that smartphones do today. For example, in the future, our phones could be replaced by augmented reality devices. These might look similar to a new version of Google Glass. Glasses with AR technology might be able to project images in front of your eyes. You'll be able to watch your favorite shows, play games, view photos, and browse web pages without a physical phone. You won't even need a proper TV at home anymore, saving you money and space.